What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has put up a video, which is very much clickbait in a community that does, you know, its fair share of clickbait. I'll be honest. Don't want to be hypocritical, but this video was titled Taking Off My Hijab, and then the image and thumbnail was a baby blue background with Taking Off My Hijab in Canada, question mark. Now, he does not do that, just to let you know up front. We get a Hamio plug instead, which features a religion she does not celebrate, and we see her in the car where she says she feels the most safe. She feels that outside of the car, if she were to give her location, she would be stalked or followed. And the interesting part of that, if you go back, she actually did, in a way, stalk Natter on livestream. She brought us along for those journeys. Uh, when S-Jam initially just wanted to go meet her, she really was dramatic about what was taking place. And, and Pete's needed a sword, if you recall. You know, and without the real context of the situation, you know, I remember that night. It was strange. You know, you had Foodie and Pete's very concerned. You had this kind of intoxicated, rambling person that we'd never seen before in a hotel. But now we know the actual optics of the situation is she knew fully aware who he was and where he was going. They'd communicated, eventually collaborated. So there was no need for all of that. So for her to sit there now and pretend that, you know, again, she's some celebrity, I just find it comical. She says that when she rents the apartment or house that we're only going to see the bedroom or kitchen. And she is the one that constantly shows where she is, who she's with, what she's doing. And she says that without that, she feels like, you know, the psycho people will be on her tail, so she won't be doing much outside. Now, she starts off right back to where we talked about. The sweater she's wearing is a 4X, and this is such a big deal. She goes back to the car being paid off and expresses that Sala pays for the Wiss SUV. She goes into this tangent about how people say she's broke, but then say that she pays for everything Sala has, and she doesn't understand how it can be both ways. And, I, you know, I get it. There's a lot of different opinions put out about her, and some of them are contradicting each other. But I don't know one person that says you're broke and you're paying for everything Sala has. What most people say is that your income has diminished greatly, and you clearly should have been, if you were staying there, helping provide toward the household. Now, you kind of said a couple different things while you were there. First of all, Sala took care of everything. He was your sole provider. And then we realized slowly that truly wasn't the case, because when you made your Thailand trip video, you talked about the things that you had to pay for, which even if it was one thing, is still something you had to pay for. So perhaps I missed it also. I don't know anyone that's mocking the age of this car, and she constantly brings up that it's a 2016 and it's paid off. I haven't seen anyone discuss that. She says that she understands people would think she would go back to herself, but this is herself. And she kind of doesn't understand that she's mocking her own religion in the title. And that's a big part of the problem here. She says that she's not perfect. But she wants us to understand that what she's wearing is technically a hijab. And I covered this in my last video. It's so much more the visuals, right? A lot of us, myself included, we don't know about the Muslim faith. We don't follow this. So when you have someone that's kind of being this ambassador for it, but also proclaiming they're imperfect, that creates all of these different talking points. I've yet to see the Quran or the prayer rug, since she's returned to Canada. And those are two critical aspects of being Muslim. So she doesn't know what she's doing. She follows guidelines that she modified to suit her needs. And anyone that speaks out about this, they're the problem. She says that Muslim is who she is. And interestingly enough, she says even without Salah, she would still wear this, citing that this was all her decision and that we can only see her face and her hands. We've already seen her hair. She did this during the live stream when she initially wanted to go back to Canada. And let me just say, and you'll see it at the end of this video, this goes far beyond what you're wearing, Chantal. It's a lifestyle from worship to diet to discipline to, yes, overindulging, gluttony, 
Those are things you don't spend any time talking about. You instead focus solely on what you're wearing. She offers websites for us to use as resources, kind of gives these vague descriptions, and as usual, as of late, she talks about how busy she is and how she's been driving all over talking to people. And then we get to the heart, the real issue of what she wanted to say the whole time. The wait time for the doctors to take new patients is long. And she may be there for an extended period of time. And she describes this as valid proof that the healthcare system is failing and therefore she may be indefinitely in Canada. Chantal, I know you've heard this a lot, but this was your problem. This is your failure. You had ample time to start this process while in Kuwait. You should have known your health was an issue the way you were treating your body. So do not sit here and blame others for your inability to be an adult. Now, to that point, there'd been a lot of talk about BBJ, a lawyer, getting her back. She said she could have taken Julia, but she didn't want to stress the animal out. And she expects they would keep Salah company. As if he's sitting there, in the apartment, just waiting for her to return. Does he not have a job? Vandalay fragrances. It's amazing to me that she projects that he's just this helpless person that just sits in the apartment all day with the animals when we know he would have to go out to work. The last month of her content, we rarely saw him until he was literally the happiest man shipping her back to Canada. She goes on to reiterate the same old tired points. Everyone is wrong about her. She isn't taking off the hijab, but she stops short of saying she's not wearing an abaya anymore. And that's what a lot of people question. She does say that she's already ate non-halal meats, exactly what I talked about before, but she says that was justified due to the cost. But she's not going to go back to pork or her other habits. She closes out by offering this was her sermon for the day and that she needs to share her health journey, moving out, and ultimately the goal of bringing Salah to Canada. She said she's going to do a tour of some local places, driving around. It's going to be in a later video. And then we see, in closing, her at the dealership getting her brakes and car maintenance. Now, oddly enough, she has a chocolate chip cookie while the car was being serviced. Clearly a bad idea for a diabetic. And a coffee, which I would hope would be decaf because she's been promoting this whole... I don't know what you even want to call it now. Unicity drinks. Which, technically, if it's a yerba mate, should be telling someone to limit their caffeine intake through the day. We then see a cart full of junk. This is her shopping. And what do you expect to be there? Processed foods. Canned pasta. Blocks of cheese. Very little fresh. All of the things that got her into this position in the first place. Proudly on display. Gonna leave you with the top comments from the last video. Appreciate you watching this. Be back as soon as I can with more content.